This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for May 23, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up 1.19 points or 0.29% to 413.21. Trading volume was low with only 120,469 shares changing hands at a trading value of over 770 million Khmer real or over 189,000 US dollars. On the main board, Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority saw the largest percentage rise up 1.39% or 100 real per share to 7,280 real per share. This was followed by the Phnom Penh SEZ PLC, which was up 0.91%. Akleda Bank PLC, the Sienegville Autonomous Port, and Grand Twins International also saw their stock prices increase. The biggest loser of the day was the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port, which was down 60 real to 13,400 real per share, while the remaining companies on the main board saw their stocks remain flat. Akleda Bank remained the top trading contributor to the market, with 91,945 shares changing hands, amounting to 75% of the market. Total trade value was around 170,000 US dollars or 694.8 million Khmer real. MJQ Education PLC followed Akleda Bank with 17,134 shares changing hands at a trade value of roughly 8,556 US dollars or 34.9 million Khmer real. Sienegville Autonomous Port and Pestec Cambodia PLC saw the lowest shares traded, with only 15 and 30 shares traded respectively. On the growth board, which comprises only two listed companies, JS Land and DBD Engineering, both were down 20 and 10 real respectively, with DBD Engineering's price closing at 2,380 Khmer real per share and JS Land's price closing at 1,900 Khmer real per share at a combined trade value of nearly 8 million Khmer real or roughly 1,956 US dollars. In corporate news, Sienegville Autonomous Port is the latest to publish its first quarterly report for 2024, reporting an increase in revenue and decrease in operating profit and net profit. The company reports this was due to increasing container cargo and general cargo throughput, and because in Q1 2023, the company saw an increased net gain from land assets, making it so that a year-on-year -year comparison naturally reveals a high decrease in both operating profit and net profit in Q1 2024. Khmer Real to USD remained the same at 4,077, while the US dollar index was up to 105.10. Over in the US, NVIDIA Corporation, a multinational tech company that specializes in graphic processing units and artificial intelligence hardware and software, saw its shares soar 10% on Thursday after the company announced a 10 for 1 stock split in its quarterly report, which included that the company's revenue and forecast are above analyst estimates. Oil prices fell for a fourth consecutive session and settled at multi-month lows due to worries over demand growth in the oil market following the prospect of higher for longer U.S. interest rates. Brent crude futures settled lower by 54 cents or 0.7 percent at 81.36 U.S. dollars a barrel, the lowest since January. Gold also fell to more than a week's low, extending its decline for a third straight session. Spot gold fell 1.8% to $2,336.39 US dollars per ounce, its lowest since May 13th. US gold futures settled 2.3% lower to $2,337.20 US dollars per ounce. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 605.78 points, registering its worst day of 2024, as NVIDIA's blockbuster earnings failed to lift the broader market. The S&P 500 dropped 0.74%, closing at 5,267.84, and the Nasdaq Composite tumbled 0.39% to end at 16,736.03. This was Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia Market Update for May 23rd.